What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install and use the Chaos Fire Shader inside our Blender. We designed this fire and smoke volumetric shader for use in our Chaos Explosion add-on, but as you probably heard, we've also released it as a standalone material in case you want to shade any of your fire simulations in a very straightforward way. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. When you download the Chaos Fire Shader from Blender Market, it will come in a zip file. Be sure to not unzip that file as that will be an install file that you will install inside of Blender so that you can access the Fire Shader very easily. So the first thing we are going to do here is open up Blender of course and we'll just go to Edit and then go to Preferences. Make sure that the Add-on tab is selected here and then just go to the Install button here. And you're just going to navigate to where you saved your download. So I have it under recent downloads here. And uh, depending on which version of the Chaos Fire Shader you downloaded, whether you got the Chaos Explosion add-on or if you just got the Fire Shader, you may have two downloads here. Uh, but first I'll just go ahead and show you how to install the Shader version of the product. So we'll just go ahead and click on Install Fire Shader Chaos.zip and we'll just click on Install Add-on. And uh, as you can see, it should come up here as append chaos fire shader. But if it doesn't, you can search for it here by just typing chaos. And then we can just go ahead and check the box here to enable the tab where the material is going to show up. And we'll just go ahead and close it. And now what we can do here to access the fire shader, we would just go over here to chaos fire shader on the bottom here of our right panel. And as you can see here, we have an easy way to import our fire material right here. So what you would do here, if this was a uh, smoke domain cube of some sort and you had a simulation inside of your smoke domain, you would just go ahead and click the fire shader button here. And then you would just go here and under materials, you would just change the material to chaos fire shader. And then you can access all of the chaos fire shader settings either under the volume tab here under your material settings or you could also go to the shading tab and then as you can see here we have all the chaos fire shader options available to you including the color ramp as well as smoke color smoke density smoke contrast the flames color which you can control with the color ramp the flames brightness and the flames contrast as well as the smoke and fire and this last setting controls how much the smoke surrounds the fire so you can use this uh, black color ramp point on the color node to just drag and uh, the more you drag it to the right the more your smoke is kind of going to surround your flames a little bit more. So now that I've shown you how to essentially import the material into your scene and to apply it as a material to different things, obviously you wouldn't apply it to just a random cube, but you would need some kind of simulation data in this cube. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but now I'll go ahead and show you how to install the Chaos Explosion add-on as well in case you bought the Chaos add-on that comes of course with the Chaos Fire Shader as its default volumetric shading material. So to install Chaos, once you have downloaded it, of course, you would just do pretty much the exact same thing that we just went through. You would just go to edit preferences. We'll just go to the install button again here. And instead of going to install fire shader, we're just going to go to chaos fire install 2.82 Mantaflow or whatever the most uh, recent version of the chaos add-on is. We'll just go ahead and select it and then we'll click on install add-on. And again, it'll pop up here. If it doesn't pop up, just search for it in the search bar and we'll just go ahead and click that. And now we'll go ahead and close this. And now as you can see, the chaos add-on will come in this uh, tab labeled chaos here. And uh, as you can see, we have all of our settings available to us. And of course, as you probably know, I have many tutorials on our YouTube channel showing you how you can create explosions with these different explosion systems inside of the tab here. All right guys, so to finish off this video, I'll just do a very basic example showing you how to use the Chaos Fire Shader to shade a basic explosion that we have created utilizing the Chaos add-on. So we'll just go ahead and go to File and I'll go ahead and open up this Truck Explosion file here. All right, so as you can see in this blend file, we have a nice little truck explosion going on here. And we've used a bunch of directional operators here blasting out through all the windows. If we go ahead and open this up, we've used the dynamic smoke fire with the directional burst. And we've just blasted a bunch of those fuel particles out the window. And uh, we plan on adding some glass particles next, but we've just done the fire explosion so far. So now let me just go ahead and show you a few of the basic concepts using the chaos fire shader. 
and since we've actually used chaos to add the particle systems to our scene here we don't actually have to select the chaos fire shader or import it into our scene like I showed you earlier because it's going to be the default material for our smoke domain but if you had a simulation that you didn't use the chaos custom presets for what you would do is you would just go to the chaos fire shader as I showed you before then you would just click on the chaos fire shader and then while your smoke domain was selected for that simulation you would just go ahead and select the chaos fire shader option from there and then you could get to shading your simulation so to shade the simulation first of course we'll go ahead and make sure that our smoke domain is selected and then we'll go to the shading tab here as you can see here we have the camera view of our truck explosion in the top view here and then with our smoke domain selected we can see our chaos fire shader here at the bottom node panel and uh, there are a variety of settings we can change here so we'll just go to rendered mode at the top here and we'll be rendering through the cycles rendering engine of course and uh, these are actually the default settings for the chaos fire shader and they look pretty cool but of course depending on your simulation you might want to tweak a few of the settings so that's where tweaking all of these options would benefit you with this shader you can play around with of course a lot of different settings but we've also tried to make it as straightforward as possible without getting into any crazy node setups so of course you can change the smoke color here you can change the smoke density you can change the smoke contrast which essentially is kind of an element of density essentially the higher the smoke contrast is the more the larger scale the smoke looks and kind of thickness of the smoke and then you can change the flames color through the color ramp here so you can change this uh, right node here to change the main color of the flames or you can add different points along the color ramp here to create some more color variation in your flames as well and then you can uh, under the flames brightness tab here you can of course change how bright the flames are and then the flames contrast kind of changes uh, how bright the brightest parts of the flames are in comparison to the more darker parts of the flames so essentially kind of an element of flames brightness as well but in just kind of a different kind of way and uh, then finally the smoke fire connection point here is attached to the color ramp as well and what that's going to do is the left color ramp point here that's black essentially if we drag this black point over to the right a little bit more it's going to start surrounding the flames with some more smoke to create kind of a denser looking explosion as you can see here at the top panel the smoke is kind of surrounding the flames a little bit more so when you adjust that point here that's what that does Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. We tried to make our fire shader as simple as possible built inside the chaos add-on so you can get great looking simulation results inside of Blender fairly quickly. As always, feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments section below. We will be releasing our tutorials and breakdown videos every week, so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you find them useful. I'll see you guys next time.